Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the first stream for the channel. Uh, mostly what we're going to be doing here is going to play some Dark Souls today. So that's a little easy. Delve into streaming a little bit. And uh, later on down the road we might play something different. But starting with Dark Souls because I find that pretty easy. Um, the first one I've played many, many, many times. So I'm going to jump into the gameplay. So we'll start off with a brand new character. Um, thank you, Riser, for the follow. Uh, might as well call him Pixel. It makes a little more sense. Uh, the The game volume might be a little high here. Uh, I can't actually edit it till I get into the game, but uh, I'll do my best here to, to keep the volume up a little bit. Once we get in, we'll tweak the volume down. And uh, if, if you see any issue with it, you can just let me know in the chat. Okay, so we're going to start with the Master's Key. That lets us get some pretty cool items early on. And a Pyromancer, just because it's a lot of fun. Uh, physique, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's pick something interesting here. Sure, you know, we're a Pyromancer. We might as well start from the Swamp. Ponytail, might as well match me. And I always like the blue hair. So that'll let us get in. Shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death, and of course, light and dark. And dark. So, if you've never played before, um, then from the dark they came. This is basically us. We we are and found the souls of lords within the flame. The, the we're, we're the people that have the dark soul in our bodies. These are the, the four big baddies. Uh, we're going to want to track those down, take their souls, and this one's us. So well, forgotten. sort of. With the strength of lords, hey, P Ships, how's it going? That's been good, it's been good. You know, first stream, glad you're here to check it out. Really appreciate that. Um, you know, gonna get into it here, have a good time. Uh, I think we're gonna go with. The flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Or will it? And we'll find out a little bit whether or not we will once we get into it. Even now. the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side
It's been a little while since I played this cutscene. It's much longer than I remembered. Yeah, so we're going to get into it here. We, we are the accursed undead. We, we've been branded with the dark sign. We're yes, in this prison. Indeed. And the dark sign we're about to find out how we get out. Dead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. This is a crazy octopus. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Here we are, locked away. This is your fate. Waiting the end. So. Luckily, we've got a friend who's going to show up here, give us a little hand getting out. Um, ah. There we go. All right, let's go in. Options. Turn all these down a little bit. Go. And if you're watching, you can let me know how that sounds. This game's a little older, so I wasn't able to get in and check out the settings early on. I hear that demon stomping around. I think actually, if we look out here, yeah, that's a little trap for us later on. You can see all we start with is little baby sword, and we're gonna make our way out of the undead prison. Uh, yeah. Perfect. I, I appreciate it. I was hoping it was good. I spent some time playing with it, um, and I just I wasn't sure because with this headset I've got going on, I don't have any boost capabilities. I kind of had to budget a little bit, use some gain and some noise gating. We got a friend who's going to drop down here on our head. We do not want to mess with him. You can kill him. If you do, you get a pretty sweet axe. It's also very very hard with a broken straight sword. Uh, yeah, so if you never played four bonfires, our, our checkpoint mechanic. Uh, once we're here, we if we die, we will respawn back at that, but we lose all of our souls, and that's what makes the game hard. Want to get our crack shield on? It's not a great shield. We're going to be looking to replace that pretty quickly. Person here wants to arrow us down a little bit. That's okay. This will be our hand axe. That equipped. Now, do some fighting. If I put on my axe. There we go. I actually want to unequip that because we don't want to be accidentally using a broken trade sword to fight bosses later on. So, head over here, avoid our little trap, and that immediately opens a nice little hole for us where, unfortunately, our friend from earlier, not having a great time. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out. Yeah, I'll hear you out. I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. He let me out. Don't I don't know that he failed. Family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringest the bell of awakening, 
the face of the young. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Oh, what else you got for? Now I must bid farewell. Goodbye, friend. And thank you. Oh, Estus again. Never played Dark Souls. That's our healing mechanic. Uh, whenever I go back to a bonfire, that will give me back all of the, the charges, and it'll heal my health bar up in the top left corner, the red one. Uh, and the green, of course, is our stamina. If we completely deplete that, like, say, by attacking a whole bunch, can't do anything until it comes back. Well, these enemies are fairly basic, pretty weak. That's a pyromancy flame. Whoa, hello. Got the second one. We're going to put that in our... Not in that hand. We're going to put it on the other hand with our shield. And now we have a pyromancy flame. So what that allows us to do is cast our spells as a pyromancy class in the beginning. We start off with the fireball. And it just does a bunch of damage. And kills some... Stronger enemies fairly easily. So, head through the fog gate. And there's our friend. Well, we have a little bit better of a weapon, so we're going to say hello. Oh. And that's why they say Dark Souls is hard. <laughs> One hit, large chunk of my health. Uh, we also want to be a little careful here because we have a shield that is not great. It actually only prevents about 60% of damage instead of the normal 100. And uh, we can't block or dodge if we use up all of our stamina. So, big enemy is what you want to do. Hide away behind them. He's going to jump and slam. Get him with a little fire action. Oh, roll under. And roll. And there we go. That's the first little mini boss out of the way. And that gives us our big pilgrim's key, which if we... It's this door. That's us out here. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Adela uh, Ad Don. Adelanus. Hi, Adelanus. How are you today? So, now we're going to go up here, top of this cliff, uh, and we're going to get a little another friend here to say hello, take us into the main part of the game. Hey, Eraser. How are you? Good, good. Hanging out. Got a new hobby. We, uh, Sold off my magic collection, bought a nice PC, and uh, we're gonna do some streaming. Uh, hopefully, create a you know a fun place for some friends to come hang out. Uh, I don't know if you caught the intro, but basically, we're starting with Dark Souls because I'm very familiar with Dark Souls. I've beaten this specific game probably 20 times, start to finish. Uh, whether or not we're gonna finish it on stream, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, for now, while I'm getting used to doing attention on chat plus attention here, that's what we're going to do. Missing D&D &D is not fun, but hanging out with me is hopefully something I can make up for it a little bit. I've never played Jackpot Games, p um, Could be fun. Certainly, uh, I've heard a little bit about it. Need to remember. Yeah, yeah, okay. So in this game, you can also level up at bonfires. We've got some uh, main stats here. We're going to be focusing on a couple of different ones because we are also going to get some pyromancies. Um, yeah, I can, I can actually turn up the delay uh, at Alanis. Uh, it's just a setting. I've got it down low as I can so that the difference between chat and stuff isn't too, too bad. We're going to get a little bit of strength, and if I have the levels, a little bit of health. Okay, so there's a couple of things I normally do at the start, but they're not the most entertaining things in the world. So, uh, 
There's one thing I'm going to show you. Never played that. It'll be pretty cool. And uh, other than that, we'll just get going through the main story. So over here is actually one of the areas that takes you towards the in-game um, cemetery where you'd see Nido, that, that big skull demon. He actually lives below this area over here. But if you're interested and you're just starting and we run through, there's pretty cool stuff to pick up, a little extra souls. Uh, these skeletons will respawn indefinitely, by the way, so you want to be careful. But... There's this Y-hander, which if you want to use a big meaty beat stick, it's not a bad way to start. I think this is binoculars. Ah. Big skeleton. Turn up here. I think this is what we're looking for. Yeah, the wingtip spear. So we want to get out of here. We're going to go back. Try and dodge these guys. They might chase me. Watch your stamina. Do a sprint check. There's our crow friend hanging out. And what we're going to do is just rest at the bonfire. That'll reset all of the enemies. And yeah. So now those skeletons aren't chasing us. Like I said, they're immortal. Uh, we can't kill them yet. We don't have what we need. Uh, once in a while, you'll see little shades like that as well. Yeah, Jackbox, I could see us getting that on the go. Uh, Within also mentioned uh, doing some CSGO. I'm very bad at it. He's very good. So we could get a little joint chat going, and that might be fun. But what I wanted to show you is this wingtip spear. Um, if you're a new player, you want to hide behind your shield constantly. And with the wingtip spear, unlike most weapons, you can actually attack from behind your spear, but you have to be careful because it does split your stamina. For now, we are going to go ahead and stick with the Hand Axe, because I don't have the stats to use the Wingtip Spear right now. But I wanted to show that off in case you are interested. Okay, let's get going. We'll head along to the first boss, see what we can find. A couple of people up here. We want to be careful, because there's a friend up top that's got some fire bombs and really wants to say hello to us. Beat him to attack. Get him with a fireball. There's a the firebomb, friend. Yeah, they need to leave me alone. Get out of here. Oh, there's... Whoa! There we go. Have a little sip of our Estus to top off. And let's just pick up this. It's been a little while since I played, so I don't remember where all the items are. But uh, as I ever remember things that are cool for newer players or people who haven't really played, I'll be sure to point them out. Weirdos only. <laughs> and. Hello. Oh, we'll be doing a fair bit with these guys, just getting on to their sort of dead angle. Get up behind them, and you get this parry. You're actually invincible while you're doing that uh, backstab. So that's, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I regularly shave mine, but I'm missing out a little bit on it today, so... Yes, I will fall in with the neckbeards. Whoa, dragon! We will see that later. Got a little ambush here, three or four uh, little hollows. Basic hollows are pretty easy, but if they they can get you. That one little hit, quarter your health. If you get three or four of them ganging up on you, it can be trouble. This. There we go. You want to go over? Yeah, over here. Well, these spear guys, they will just chill, and you can't get them. But you can bait them out, stab them in the back. You can also kick them. 
And solves a problem. So there's a bonfire over here. Rest up. Oh, with bonfires. You can actually kindle them. Uh, you can't kindle wall hollows, so. You go into your inventory, use the humanity. A humanity will bring us back to life. Power us up a little bit. Reverse our hollowing. Up our humanity. Uh, so when you're human, a couple of things happen. You can be invaded. Oh, you don't need, there, there's nothing in the boxes. Uh, <laughs> having played this a million times, there's almost always nothing in the boxes unless there's a corpse in the box. Uh, so yeah, what we want to do is kindle this bonfire. Oh, right. Okay. Another mechanic. I do have to use it first. I can run back and, and knock over some boxes just for you. Uh, kindling the flame makes it a little stronger, and the important thing is a kindled bonfire, even though it uses up humanities, will give us back all of our Estus. And we, we like having Estus because it is our healing mechanic. Three, four. This. Where are those boxes? I'll go get them for you. We'll break the barrier too. Probably deal with the people that are gonna. Yeah. Pick. Let's do it this way. Hello, friend. I have a fireball. And a fireball. There we go. There's your boxes. Uh, these boxes actually are worth breaking if you want to go that way. There's a merchant down here that sells you some stuff. Uh, we're going to get along though. Oh, short sword. I want to use. Oh, what? I like short swords. Oh, I can't use it. I don't have enough dexterity. Okay, back to the hand axe. Another little ambush room. You want to be a little careful. Deal with some of these pretty quickly. But one of the things we're going to be on the lookout for pretty early on is a shield that's going to give us 100% protection. Yeah, because right now, look at this shield. We look over at Thief. Where's the stat for? Physical defense. Do we have to look at it in here? There we go. Yeah, so you see the physical damage reduction is only 65%. Uh, that basically means the other 35, if we block with our shield, we'll get through and hit our face. We like our face. Our face is what lets us keep living. Go in here, get ambushed a little bit. Lots of ambushes by basic enemies early on. Yeah, oh, hello. Nice thing about our little short axe here is it has a low swing range, so in these little uh, small areas, break some boxes for Atalanus. Uh, they seem like having boxes broken, so who am I to deny box breaking? Uh, hi, Professor. No, Dono tab. Um, this is like literally the first day, so. Just focusing on having a good time. Uh, maybe in the future that's something I'll look into.
these, this is just revenge. We don't need to come up here. I just, they keep throwing stuff at me. Oh, that explains. I had no idea who you were. I saw the follow come in on my, my Streamlabs 10 or so hours ago. Uh, well, I didn't see it 10 hours ago. It just told me that that's when it came in. I was like, I don't know that person. I mean, if you want to give me money, I will find you a dono tab. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we want to head over here. This is a secret item. We actually, that door is specifically the reason that we went ahead and started with the master's lockpick. That's one of the doors that we want to open. This item, uh, I think there's someone's going to... I'm going to hang it over here. I, I had a feeling he shoves. Yeah, so this item is these the gold pine resin. So what will happen is if we use it, uh, it'll give us a lightning ability on our main weapon, which is the nice axe. And for some of the early bosses, because we're not particularly powered up, it makes things a lot easier. <sighs> Die. There we go. Hoping one of those will drop their shield for me. They may not. Yeah, come on. Ooh. One cool thing you can do to these guys is your jumping attack like that. Um, a lot of times when they're running at you, they drop their shield. And if you climb it just right, get them with a long sword. Uh, do I have the stats for that? I didn't have for the short sword. No. Maybe we'll get a little dexterity later. It it will be a Molly One axe in a little bit. Uh, I don't want to waste them. I want to use them on that first couple of bosses. But uh, we'll show you this. This is a Black Knight. Um, if you've not played Dark Souls, don't come down here. This character will kill you. It's a lot harder, and the AI is significantly more intelligent than the last few things that we fought. But um, we're going to see how rusty we are. Whoop. And two, okay. One, two. Whoa, very rusty. I'm dead. Oh. This. There we go. He, this, this Dark Knight will chase us forever. There we go. You can see my little backstab does a way less damage. <sighs> Run away. So we're a little more rusty than we thought. Um, I may not be able to take this thing down very easily. We'll just ignore it. It'll probably leave us alone. Let's head up this way. Crap. Yeah, looks like the Dark Knight did rubber band or got stuck on some geometry. These barrels, uh, maybe it's the next ones. Barrels. There we go, Crystal Lizard. Very important enemy to make sure that you kill. They just run away, but you can see they drop a bunch of these Titanite shards of various types. That's our main upgrade material. Um, some of that stuff is hard to find. If you don't get it, you just jump it out of the way. Okay, so. This is where we want to turn on our Molly One X. Let's go deal with this. Those will be annoying if we don't. Hello, and crossbowman. Whoa. They're a little easier to deal with when they don't have a shield. You can just kind of plink away at them health when we get a little past halfway here uh, a first boss is going to come 
If you've never faced this boss and you're just starting up the game, it's actually not a bad idea to run back to that ladder. If you remember the Asylum Delum from about a half an hour ago, uh, if you kite this box back, go up the ladder, you can drop down and take a big chunk of their health. We've got the gold pine resin, so uh, I'm just going to beat them up and try and stay between their legs because that hammer is very large and not good at hitting between their legs. And you can see we take huge chunks. Want to roll? And roll between the legs. We're gonna wait for an attack. Oof. Roll between the legs. Whoa. Yikes. Okay, he gave me space. To drink up, get under the legs again, because that's the safest place for us, and there we go. Now we got him. And that's the Taurus Demon. So that is the first boss of the game down. Uh, give it a try. So, head up here. A door here. I don't. Yeah, this one's locked. So we can't get in there quite yet. Uh, down here, we got a nice friend for you. If you've ever seen the memes, this is our friend who praises the sun. Ah, hello. I am Soler of Astor. Mr. Soler. Parent of the Lord of Twilight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> and uh, that, that's Soler, the man behind the memes. Soler is also undead like us and is undertaking the exact same journey, which is to um, link the fires. I'm going to turn around. Not quite. Oh, there he comes. Hello. Whoa. We did not turn around enough. Well, that's a dragon friend from before. Um, I let's put up. I think I can get in. I don't remember how soon it is before he toasts me. Yeah, so you want to duck down the staircase, uh, and you're safe. So if you're feeling bold, there's some pretty cool stuff up there, uh, including a little shortcut and a cool trick. Again, if you're if you're new, you're starting out. Uh, I'll show you. There's a spot where you can repeatedly shoot the dragon in the tail with a bow and arrow. It takes like a hundred shots. But you get a really, really powerful sword that's great for the start of the game. So, we head over here. There's going to be some enemies. We don't run into the wall. So you want to take out these enemies. Hello. Kick. Ask them a few questions. Kick. Another guy there. We're going to try and kite over Hello. No, stop. Stop. Come on. So, this is the area. Look. Back right about here. You can see that's the dragon's tail. So what you do is you get a bone arrow, shoot it in the tail a hundred times, and you will get a very powerful sword. Uh, it's boring to watch, so we're not going to do it. We're just going to continue along. Watch out for rats. Seriously, watch out for rats. Not see that one coming. Rats are annoying. Uh, they're little, sometimes their hitbox can sort of dodge your weapons. We can't throw fireballs around corners. There we go. Yeah, so they're quick. They're little. Um, they can get in under your guard. It's a little annoying. But you can, you can get them. A little bit of practice. So, up the ladder. We're going to make our way. That's where we're eventually heading. Up there. 
got some aggro. One more. There we go. These guys are powered up a little bit. That's not what we want. Is remember exactly what memories. Maybe it's going to get roasted. Always forget where this shortcut is. I'm on one S. I actually really want to unlock the shortcut so we don't have to do that big long run back again. Never remember exactly what that is. This is it. Yeah, so we kick down this ladder. Climb down. Oh, climb down, and this is actually one of my favorite things about Dark Souls is the level design. We're back right here. Okay, so back up the ladder. And that's why uh, a little while ago, that's the bonfire that we rekindled, because we really wanted to make sure that we could get our 10 Estes shards, Estes flasks, back up every time we went back to that bonfire, which uh, might be a couple of times, depends on how nice these rats are when we get up here again. So resting in a bonfire responds all enemies, so our friends are back. Little kick, one more chops, there we go. Get Want to come say hello? You want to be careful because falling off an edge equals instant death. Whoa, you're not that aggressive. Stop. And we'll just pop off because rats are annoying. Whoa, that startled me. Dragon noises plus shadow behind me. Just enough to freak me out. I'm gonna unlock so that we don't accidentally. Walk off the edge. Get all of them? No, hello. The move set on our axe is not particularly great for dealing with. Um, I don't know what that is. Sorry, P ships. Yeah, so the moveset on our axe is not super great for dealing with uh, the little tiny rats because we do this like upper mid-range swing like that and they just go below us. Pick. Chop, 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 and chop. Oh, locked. Pick off. You can bait these guys. If you hit them, they will do that like almost every time. He was low health, so he didn't. Yeah, th those, are, those are some aggressive roads. So... Uh, what we're going to do here, this is a little shortcut, where you see that big gate towards the back? I actually pointed at it. Uh, we are going to get to that gate, not fight the giant demon pig that you can see there, because it's not, I just don't want to, uh, and uh, skip a little extra section with some tough guys. Important thing to note, we have one shot. If we do not get to that gate before the thing on the other side closes it, we will miss. Here we go. Right up here. Avoid that big pig. I'm gonna run over here and see them going. There they go, they see us. And we made it. 
Now we've just got to deal with like four guys at once. Plus behind us are some strong enemies if we're not careful. That me. Yeah, there we go. And there's them doing their job of closing the gate. I hear a friend. I want to look behind me. No, we're good. Oh, did my frame rate dip? It looked fine on my end. Uh, or just mean all the fire? I, I, <laughs> sorry. A little bit of delay makes it hard for me to tell exactly where I was when you said that. But it could be the fire. Uh, yeah, so over here. Doo, 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 doo. Behind us is uh, some enemies we don't really want to deal with. I'm going to skip these guys for now. Hopefully. Woof. There we go. And that's how fast you can die in Dark Souls. Oops. So, we're back at this bonfire. Back up the ladder. Oh yeah, I mean, it could dip. This is my, my first stream, so if it's doing weird stuff, it's good to know so that uh, I can deal with it for the future. And with this being an older game, I have, like, it's not well optimized. We, we sh I should have plenty of power to manage, but uh, with it being so poorly optimized, I would, like, actually not be surprised if, if things went crazy. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, you know, we're, we'll be here probably for about another hour, so if you do come back, I'll appreciate it. If not, no worries. All right. There we go. One more. There it is. Okay. That gate is now closed permanently. Uh, we can open it. I didn't. I don't know why. But it is closed for business. We've got to go around the long way. Bad. No luck with the shields. Unfortunately. I still don't want to fight the giant demon pig. It's actually quite strong. So we're going to go up here. I think, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to die. Uh. That's how quickly you can get into trouble in Dark Souls. Little mistake and got a lot of friends. This is trouble. Ugh, get away. There we go. Okay. I think we're back in control a little bit. Go up the stairs. Away from the demon pig. <laughs> yeah. Remember, never. Don't fail that super often, so. Yikes, leave me alone, demon pig. Whoa, chill out. I gotta look around, so we're gonna deal with some of these guys, hopefully. Demon pig kind of rubber bands right around here, so we can. We're a little safe to goof around. Deal 
that. That should finish it. Arrows with my arm and chop this up. Okay, a little back in control, not too bad. One more, finish you off because you're in my way. Pop up our health and tighten it shard. That'll be useful for later. Yeah, so this is where we go. Okay. Basic enemies. These are fairly weak, but they can be dangerous if they get on top of you. And uh, just start swinging. Every enemy in Dark Souls can kill you, is the thing. You always want to be kind of careful, even of uh, you know, the basic weaker enemies. Uh, these are... that's what I wanted to avoid. I don't really want to fight those until I've powered up a little. There's you. Oh, I'm out. There we go. Back to the light. Ugh, shoot. No, no. There we go. So it does take them a second to drink the rest. Of, um, and we don't want them to. Because those enemies will kill us even harder than the ones that we tried to not die to earlier. Right. Bearings. Over there is where we die. Luckily, our souls are back up here. So in Dark Souls, when you die, you drop all your souls. Uh, hi, Solaire. Uh, we just passed you a little while ago. Oh, uh, leave me alone. Okay. Okay, this time we're safe. Oh, we're just going to run over here. This is how close we were when we died. If we come right down here, there's a bonfire. You can hear them chasing us. So we're gonna go ahead, hopefully rest before they get on top of us. There we go. Another humanity, and the reason being is this is another one of the key bonfires that we will revisit fairly frequently. We're gonna reverse our hollowing. And you can see we only have the five Estus. Hi, Adelanus. So I, I don't know if you missed. Um, I, I ran into some enemies stabbing me in the back, followed by me dying and having to do a short little run back of a section. And we were seconds from the bonfire. So if you left right as I was about to die, you didn't miss anything at all. Uh, so, oh, let's level up. I, I really want to use this long sword only need one dexterity so we're gonna go ahead level up put our dexterity up to 10 uh, we will do a little more leveling but that hammering that you hear below us is Andre Andre Vistora lovely blacksmith friend uh, he's going to power us up also sell something that I want are going to purchase from Andre the Tower Kite Shield. And the reason we're purchasing that is because it's got that nice 100% physical damage reduction. And we're going to want that. So that's 1,000 souls. We're going to reinforce our long sword. So that Titanite Shard we picked up, if you see at the top right, required souls and Titanite Shards will power us up. 
gets us a little more damage. Go get yourself a knife. What we're going to do is equip that. Check our roll. So in Dark Souls, yeah. See how we see our roll, how we kind of slide through it. Um, in Dark Souls, if you're not familiar, if you look at the equip load, uh, if we hit 25% of that number, we get a much faster roll. If we hit 50%, more than 50%, we get a really chunky roll. And uh, right now we're in the middle, so the roll is a little slower. I want to have the fast roll. But we've got some experience. So before I take off some of this clothing, yeah, let's put our endurance up a couple of points. That's also going to give us stamina so we won't run out so easily. Jack our health up a little bit and our strength. Uh, so yeah, that'll do. Now, if we roll, we got a nice fast roll back. So uh, we may switch to some heavier armor a little bit later on. This shield is much heavier than the shield we had on. That's sort of the trade-off to getting our 100% damage reduction. But we're all together much, much safer. So, run around this one. Deal with this really quick. Go. Looks like somebody is actually available to summon. That's interesting. I'm surprised there are still people playing this game. It is a lot older. There's a remastered version, which I didn't pick up. Um, but yeah, there's still people playing. So in here, we have a very scary friend on the right that we're going to try to deal with. Uh, and three adds on the left we're going to try not to pull. The one on the right has a large tower shield. Uh, and tower shields are dangerous. That hammer will ruin our lives if he gets us with it, but luckily they're fast, they're slow, we're fast. But we just want to try and stay, stay away from the big beat stick. Ooh, so yeah, if you're fighting enemies, you want to kind of do this uh, circle strafing for big enemies. Most of their damage, the scary things that they do, is all in the front. So if you can get behind them, they can't hurt you. If you can't get behind them, then they can hurt you a lot. Uh, what we wanted is this. This is a Firekeeper's Soul. We can give that to the Firekeeper. Power up our Estes. But before we continue, we're going to unlock one more shortcut. And again, this is one of the things I really love about this game. Uh, the level design is incredible. Once this elevator finishes, we're going to be able to take a look and you'll see right where we are. Come out here uh, and Firelink Shrine, right back where we started. So this is, like I said, the main hub of the area and it's just it's a lot of fun. Uh, so. We don't really need to rest up here. That guy didn't get us. Also, looks like we got a couple of extra Estes. Uh, I haven't played this game online a lot, but that's actually one of the, the features. If you're in a zone and someone kills a boss, uh, you get a bonus Estes. So you'll see that we're actually overcharged by two. We're going to take our elevator back up. Uh, there's actually a little secret if you get off early right here. And that lets you go up that tower right in the distance with a little bit of jumping. Dark Souls is not the greatest platformer. So there's a couple of things we want to clean up in this temple. There's a big lich. Uh, those are scary. They're going to be able to do a lot of damage to us. Our shield, although it blocks 100% of physical, does not block 100% of magic damage. Uh, a lich is not a physical attacker, so we want to be careful. When that guy's doing that, we want to do his jump attack, because if not, we will we'll get parried. And if we parried, they will do a guaranteed critical hit. Oh, 
always wait for an opening down. Uh, so yeah, if, if you do decide you want to pick this up and play it, uh, these little uh, dudes here, they drop grenade shards. So if you're having trouble with this next boss, you can reset, respawn them a few times, power up your weapons. Uh, works out pretty well. So big ambush in this room. What we want to do, shoot a little bit of fire. Try and deal with this. Whoa! Get back here. Here are the magic spells. Yeah. Well, this can get messy. There's a lot of these um, basic hollows with big buffs. But we've got fireballs, so we can kind of. Clean them up if we don't hit the wall. And oh, there we go. Thought we had them all dead. There are like ten of them in the room. Uh, they'll get you. They will absolutely get you. Uh, so we have no souls. While we're here, I'm actually going to pop a soul real quick. Uh, let's just do that. Reason is we did pick up some more Titanite shards, and uh, since we're back at Andre, go ahead and power up our sword a little bit. Reinforce our long sword to plus two. Bell Titanite. Yeah. Let's just go ahead. Not quite enough. We're not going to worry about it. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons that we rekindle that bonfire. It can get a little dicey. Okay. So once we actually get up here, get through that little lich guy. Um, <laughs> Really, a lot of people playing. We've been getting these free Estes quite a bit. Kind of surprising. Uh, Liver Ryan, thank you, thank you for the follow. We don't have to aggro that one. We will see that our Tower Knight friend does not respawn. So you're playing. Uh. It could be actually speedrunners practicing. That would make a lot of sense. I'm just, uh, I'm not surprised because the game is good and people like playing it. The part that surprises me is there just is a remastered version. And it's the same game, just like better graphics. That one did follow us. Now we're in a spot. Let's see if we can get out of it. Uh... Oh, back off. Leave me alone. Up. There we go. That'll be another one. So, we got out of that mess a little bit. Um. We got five fireballs. Let's just do it this way. Run. Uh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to aggro so fast. I wanted to kick him out of the window and jump on his head. <laughs> so we survived that big dirty mess. Ran into the room like an idiot. And... All the buff little mini things aggroed on us. And yeah, welcome. Welcome to Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, you, you saw how fast that happened. Uh, literally seconds. Sometimes some of those easy parts, I make it look a little bit easy. Sometimes my rush shows and I get killed by basic enemies. It's Dark Souls. 
Yeah. So you can see our sword power up. We get to kill those in three hits now. We're not going to make that mistake twice. Have this chase us from behind. Uh, yeah, and we're being a little careful. We don't want to step over there. There's one, two, and there's actually a third one hiding. Bad time. It's bad time. Ah, just pass with that shield. These tight little corners. I can't get behind them. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is top up just to be safe. Get our souls back. We didn't have that many, but that's okay. Poke our head in. Just going to chuck. Boom. Get rid of two. Boom. Get rid of two. That guy um, didn't get hit. Yikes. Toss. Don't know if that got them. Nope. Hit the wall. You can see there's like five or six of them there. Made all the more difficult by being in a little stairwell. Okay, we got him. Got him this time. If we don't hit the wall. Uh, roll. Build up. <laughs> Three more. But with the Lich dead, the buff is no longer on them. They are much slower, a lot easier to kill. Okay. Okay. Top off our health. What we're going to do. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I would play the Rocky theme music, but uh, Twitch has... Uh, crack down a little bit on uh, on volume, but that would be pretty good. That would be a good time. So this is our second boss. Not even demonetized. You're, you'll actually just get banned. Um, your whole channel, even brand new. Uh, maybe not even a warning. Uh, yeah, a bad time. So out here, this is the stone gargoyles. We're going to try and do a couple of things. If you cut the tail off of one, uh, what happens is you get the gargoyles axe. I just want it because I want it. Probably not going to use it, but it's cool. Kind of want to show it off. Uh, two, we're going to try and do that quickly because a second gargoyle is going to spawn after about a minute. Um, and it can be rough. One thing I want to check. Not taking off my shield. Go to the box. There we go. So the gargoyles also breathe fire at us. We're going to watch for that. But our shield, there we go. 70% fire resistance means that that specific attack will be okay. So power up, another Molly wand sword, run over here. And may have done that before the cutscene inadvertently. We're gonna skip the cutscene, keep it. Oh, whoa, 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 you need to be on the ground, friend. So we're gonna run, run, run. That's not the tail. Oh. There we go. Oh, the... Ah, the... Didn't see the health bar for the second gargoyle because the tail axe was still on my screen. And I missed it, so I was not paying attention. Yikes. Okay, let's... 
Now the the big glitch guy um, does not respawn. So that area much easier to get through. Uh, we can't unfortunately we can't sprint through, which is what I would normally do in in areas like right before bosses like that. But uh, the one knight on the stairs will stop us. Kick. I think a bunch of titan shards is nice. Um, that's that's going to be a little useful down the road. I, I, if, if we keep kind of playing Dark Souls a bunch, I don't really want to uh, do a lot of farming on necessarily. It's just sort of slow and boring. I'll show you the cool farm spots, but I want to avoid doing it just because it's not interesting content to watch. So, no. These guys, much slower. We're going to a little run. Nope. <sighs> Can't get through there that fast. Oh well. I'll just take our time. There's just too many of those little dudes. They just beat on us. Uh, yeah. Enemy up here a little easier. There. Low and steady. Not gonna worry about those souls, it's just a few hundred. Triple? Double. Ah! Neo in the Matrix here dodging us. See, without the Lich, they can still kill us, but they move much slower, and we can sort of spam through them a little bit. Still just a lot, like, massive army. Okay. Yeah, we'll pick it up right here. It was only a few, three or four hundred, not a big deal. So we've got one more shot with the lightning. Uh, that's okay. We really only wanted the lightning for these first two bosses. We'll be able to power up our weapons a good bit between now and the next boss. Once we kill this boss, I'll buy some Titanite shards. Continue along from there. And no cutscene this time, of course. So no time to power up. Be a little careful. There we go. Chop, chop. Chop. Second one is spawn, but we killed the first one fast enough. This is what we were trying to do the first time. We don't have to fight two gargoyles at once. And, yeah, much better. So that's how it's supposed to look when we don't goof around going for the tail that we're never going to use. Uh, it is a very cool weapon. I can't use it properly, but um, it's literally just the gargoyle's giant tail. 
Dead silence. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Uh, well, you can see it even like cool animation. It bends because it's not an axe. It's a big old tail. So when you hard swing it, it actually bends like a tail. Uh, cool weapon. I like showing it off. Uh, it's easy to get if you're thinking early on. I want to be like a really strong strength character. It can do a lot of work for you. Okay, so one of our two missions. What we need to do. Ring the bells. Ringing the bells will show us the path forward. Uh, one is above, one is below. We're, we're gone for the above bell first. Uh, we could go for the below bell first, but it's, it's, it's a bad time. Uh, really want to go through this area and power up. So we're going to go up to the very tippy top, ring the bell, and start to make our way to Blight Town, which uh, I think even on my computer is going to ring. Oh, hey, Jordan. How have you been? Uh, I, I'm good, man. Playing some Dark Souls. We got into streaming. Uh, you know, Remember I was telling you about my, my new rig and my plan for a new hobby? Well, this is it. We're, we're starting with a little bit of Dark Souls because, well, you know, the last 15 minutes didn't make it look that way. But the beginning part of this game is pretty easy for me to get through. So I uh, wanted to be able to, to focus on chat a little bit, uh, get used to kind of popping back and forth between two screens, doing divided focus, that kind of stuff. Uh, plus, with Dark Souls, I can give a little bit of helpful commentary. You know, we'll explore some new games later on down the road. That kind of stuff. So... This guy, I just talked to him because he sounds cool. But um, this is a cool PvP guy. He lets you reset. If you if you go to someone's world and you slay them in PvP, you get sin. And, uh, that character lets you reset it. Actually, let's just do this. So homeward bound, and we'll just teleport. Talk to Andre. Well, we've got like 10,000 souls from the boss. What we're going to do is do a quick purchase. Of like, let's just start with five. Yeah, so that was good. We can't go any higher than that until a little bit later on. Uh, we'll get bigger coals for Andre. Uh, actually, Andre has something I think we want. No. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, a bunch of weaponsmithing bosses. That'll save us the trouble of having to go back later on to talk to Andre. We can now smith, power up our weapons, power up our armor right at the bonfire. And we're going to make our way to the next area. Now, when we backstab, we didn't backstab, but it's just a massive amount more damage. Powering up your weapons, always a good way to make your way through the game. That was doing 123 before. So, just a lot better. Uh, more damage, you know, the best defense is a good offense in a lot of ways. Those are much easier now because we're all powered up. Kick. Okay. Let's head up here. Don't want to fall for this. Oh, block. Oh, block too fast. Even the basic enemies will get you. 
and we'll just keep topped off. It makes things a little easier to uh, <laughs> flip focus. I do want to go mess with this. The pretty cool shield out here we might use. There we go. Ink. Now it's much heavier, but um, go take a look. Uh, it's got a little more stability. Doesn't actually. Yeah, it's just cool. Gotta try and remember exactly where it is we go. Back. One quick try for this item. Oops. Cool thing now is we kill these with one hit, so as long as we just kind of like get them to bounce off of us, we can do a quick swing and get them all. There's a free Estus again. Might kill us. Nope. Oh, rats. Their AI glitched out a little bit. That's always fun. So we're trying to head to Undead Burn. That's the next big area that we want to get to. I think I remember where it is. Not a hundred. Pretty sure one of our keys lets us unlock this door right here. Yeah. I don't actually make that trip often enough, so I always forget it. There's a there's a back way you can go with the thief's key, but um, we're not going that way. So I had to try and remember how to get this way. Go up here, and once again, show off my very favorite thing about Dark Souls: the incredible level design. Remember these friends. That's because we are right back at this bonfire. We're not going to be able to rest till I deal with this. There we go. Can we level up? Yeah. Love health. So Undeadburg is actually the lower part of this area.
knew he was coming. Then we have the tricky door of death. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. So if you look up, you can actually see. We were up here just a few minutes ago, right above us. Um, right there is that hallway. Yeah. Once we get down here, we're introduced to a new mechanic. Um, bleed. So you can see the dogs when they hit us, even with our shields up, give us a tiny bit of bleed. Uh, what actually happens is that can stack up a lot, and it'll kill us pretty quick. Third doggo. Not expect. I'll turn around. There we go. My way cart. Careful for ambush. Come on out. One behind me. I always forget. Yeah. Oh. Three of these. These are much tougher than a lot of the enemies we've faced so far. And they also have a lot of bleed. Why we wanted to power up our sword. Because um, they'll, they'll do a number on us. One more sort of ambush. If you're going too fast, you'll get ambushed. If you're taking your time, it's not so bad. And that's really the way you want to handle them. You want to um, back off, bait them into doing a swing, and, and just get them. Swing them, get them with your sword. So in here, uh, this is the number one new player boss killer. This is the Capper Demon. Boss itself, not too hard. With our shield, we're actually fine. But what you'll notice is the, the camera doesn't want to cooperate at all. There's also two of those dogs along with the boss. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and take down the dogs um, by running up the stairs on the left. Yeah, hey, teched out. We're uh, we're up to the Capper Demon. I don't know if you played Dark Souls, but it's 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 something. So, camera in here is not fun. It's not going to cooperate. Our biggest enemy is the camera. If we can successfully get the dogs down before the Capper Demon kills us due to camera related issues, um, we'll be all right. So, run left up the stairs. Did not run left up the stairs. Okay, run left up the stairs. Rinker Estus. Rinker Estus. Dug twice. Wing dog. One. Dog down. No, 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 no. Down. Down, doggo. Yeah. Oh! So you can see it's kind of swinging around on me. Now we're fine. Uh, if we pay more attention. I'll back off. Get him to jump. Top our health off. And we're going to come down to this big flat area. Just going to back up. This is the best spot to fight the Capper Demon. He's got some serious tracking. So we want to be careful. Keep our shield up whenever we're not swinging our sword. And just take our time. And you can see... The trees, uh, the buildings, they all get up in our face. You can imagine if we didn't do our little strats to get the dogs out of the way, with two also dogs nipping at our tail, how much more tough this could be. Oh, there's a big tree. I want to back off because we couldn't see. But we can 100% block all of the Capper Demon's attacks. So we just need to be careful. And take our time. Don't get greedy. 
Goff, he's in a corner. We can only stand in front. We don't like standing in front. Because that's how we get hit. Oh. Oh, shit. Steam decided that my internet dropped. Oh, maybe it just dropped. Yeah, so Steam decided my internet dropped and tabbed me out of the game, which was not great for my ability to fight a Capra Demon. But looks like we're still alive, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. All right, so we're back in control. Um, the one thing you, you may notice I'm doing if you watch my shield, um, when in between swings, I actually drop it. If you look at the little green stamina bar, you can see it coming back up. And it comes back up because I've dropped my guard. Ah, we're dead. No, oh, we're not dead. <laughs> now we're dead. Uh. <laughs> We did have health, apparently. Um, yeah, the camera is the real boss for Capra Demon. Sure is. Like, going in, if you've never seen Capra Demon, it sounds like, oh, you know, streamer just complaining, uh, complaining about camera angles, blast hard, blah, blah, blah. No, no. Capra Demon is the camera boss. They just named it wrong. And, uh... We were doing pretty good. <laughs> my uh, Steam decided my friends list was offline. I'm going to have to make sure that's turned off in the future and tab me out of the game. So I just kind of stood there and uh, got smacked in the face, lost control of what we were doing. All right, everything is back. Okay. Doggos, stop. We're just going to stab. Uh, dodge doggo. Stab all. There we go. You always want to pay attention to what movesets your weapon has. When we're in tight corners, we have this stab, so it's pretty good. Yeah, apparently there was one. Uh, I thought there was zero. I was like, oh, we're dead. That's okay. And uh, the Capra Demon, that overhead swing, uh, even if you block it, will get you. So you that's why we sidestep so much. Because uh, it's it's got a jump on it. So if you're sidestepping, it will miss when, when the Capra Demon jumps. That one's still alive, so we're going to be careful. Deal with this one. Oh, and that's what happens if your stamina goes. Yeah, that that was <laughs> that was that was a fun one. The the pixels were not kind. We'll say, lost them in the health bar. Okay, come on. Come out and say hello. Oh, we got everything. Just trying to kite a little bit of stuff. We'll just keep swinging it. Why are you not dead? No, nope. getting something important. We have the power of fire. Heal up. Throwing knives are a thing that happens. Hoping to only pull a few so that we could avoid blowing all of our Estus, but we won't need a lot for the Capra Demon. If, uh, if we do it quite right. Yeah, If so this is a really bad port. If you're playing Dark Souls with a mouse and keyboard, uh, you want to install DS Fix, a little mod, and it makes the mouse tracking on it significantly better. It also lets you do a couple things like unlock the frame rate. Uh, I didn't want to mess around with it. But uh, 
it helps us out a lot. So same deal. We're going to run up the stairs, bait him to attack. Run up the stairs. Nope. Okay. Let's see if we can just sprint back so we don't have to clear everything out. Dodge, dodge, dodge. A lot of the enemies, if you walk close to them, you can bait them to attack. And if you do that, you can dodge. Uh, we're going to have a lot on our tail, so we got to be a little bit careful. Where am I going? Dodge doggos. A couple of hits, but try not to die. If that bleed ticks, we will die. Off. Yeah. Doesn't work. Okay, we'll take our time. Yeah, the, the switch port is very good. That's actually the Dark Souls remastered, so it's going to be a little prettier. Um, and... Uh, that's the biggest thing with remaster. It's a little prettier. There's a couple of quality of life upgrades, like using multiple souls at one time. Ah! Locked onto the wrong one. These are all one hit, so we don't have to be too careful. That guy's two hits. I'm gonna die to basic stuff now. But yeah, the switch port's a lot of fun. Um, the PC ports are great or remastered, uh, but FromSoft doesn't, or in the past, didn't make PC games. Uh, they did the wrong way again. Yeah, so they didn't make any PC games. wasn't their jam. They just sort of turned it out. It was actually originally an exclusive. Uh, Demon Souls was the exclusive, rather. Dark Souls did come out on Xbox and PlayStation, but eventually they released it on PC, and it was... I want to say bad, but that's sort of an insult to things that are bad. Uh, within an hour of the release of the game, actually, DS Fix came out, which was just a community mod, made the camera better, fixed the textures, did a whole bunch of stuff to just make everything better. Be careful, I got no stamina. Bounce off my shield, thank you. And yeah, it only took like an hour. Um, they just, <laughs> the FromSoft wasn't a PC creator. Okay, let's see if we can deal with this. You know what we're gonna do, actually, before we step up? Let's get rid of this, and we're gonna keep our shield and put our Pyromancy Flame on that side. Back up. Come on, you can see. Switch to our flame. Back up, back up. Doggo's gonna get me, yeah. These little thieves are fast. It's fine. Come on. Do it. Hit me. There we go. Okay, let's head over. Take a look at how bosses go. Oh, doggo. Okay, let's see. There we go. Start with a roll to get out of the way. Go up the stairs. There we go. Top off. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's plunge attack this dog. We want to see where the Capra Demon is so we hopefully don't die. Top off. Well, we got a sec. Uh, 
Ah, oh, he got me. So close, so close. If he didn't get me on the ledge, I might have got him. Um, but uh, they did, so <laughs> we'll just keep running it back. Uh, <laughs> Ran out of salmon. Oh, come on. Here's someone behind me. That's 100% going to be a problem. I will forever, for all of time, forget Third Doggo. Stop with the throwing knives. Pop her off. Fuck the throwing knife. Fuck. Come to bounce and we'll do a big stab. Oh, missed it. Oh, right, okay. That's what happens if you hit an enemy that's trying to parry you. I forgot that's what they were doing when they did their sword like that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Can we angle it? Yeah. Eh, I didn't get him, but... And... Come on. Oh. Any luck? Yeah. Cool, we got them on the back swing. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Okay, one more doggo, and then we're gonna have a go at this capper demon. That attack, getting through my block, is causing me some trouble. Nope. <sighs> it's been a minute since I fought this Capra Demon, and uh, yeah, the <laughs> just a little more space would uh, would help him a lot. We'll get there. Deal with those. Go the right way this time. Not forget third doggo. Shield up. Third doggo come. No, you're there. Third doggo. Did we kill the other dog so fast that it wasn't up there in time? Oh. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Let them be done. There we go. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm, I'm, I'm unpolished, but uh, that used to be, once upon a time, a one-shot boss for me. But <laughs> just getting the dogs is the trouble. Like, I mean, knowing the strat's almost half the battle, but once you know it, you just got to get the dogs. Do the, that's, that's the key execution is getting those little doggos down. Ah. And, of course, they get unstuck <laughs> the second I throw my fireball. I'll take it. Okay. Got one doggo left. We're not going to mess around with fire or the boss. Just the wind up animation for the fireball is a little too long. Oh, we get all the doggos. Okay. You know what? Hop off. We're not going to lock on this time. I think that was a mistake we were making. And we're just going to come in. We're going to roll early. And didn't work. Don't know. Hop off. Try to top off. He's going to get me up there. Tracking on that attack is just a little bit, little, little bit too much. Okay. Give this one more try and see what happens. Yeah, got the double doggo. Would you believe I tried that every time? And uh, that was the first time I got it. Third doggo. Doggo is Bruce Lee. There we go. One more wave. Want to get caught on the wall? That'll be a bad time. Back. Agro doggos, slow down. Okay. No jumping. I uh, don't want to be surrounded. Ah, uh, got a shield up in time. That's good. There we go. Okay, now the doggo. We actually packed up far enough that we got them 
Yeah, the speed run is actually done with a lot of magic. Um, it, it's it's a real good time. Um, it's like an, I think the record right now is a little over an hour. It's pretty nuts. But yeah, definitely something to check out. They they do a much better job killing bosses than I do. Uh, I'm not sure what the record is on the all bosses, but on the speeding of the game speed run is insane. Oh, <laughs> I died so close that I got my souls back. Okay, friends. Come on, come on, come on. Every time. No, no. Run up these stairs. Drink up. Where is he? There he is. Uh, okay. The, the the stairs plan is not working. What's happening is when I run in, uh, one of the dogs is biting me right on the feet, and I don't remember how to get around it. Maybe I need to go left instead of right. What's happening is it's biting me on the feet, Causing me to stagger, which is making me not roll, which means that right off the bat, the Capra Demon is smacking me on the head. Um, which is, from there, causing me to take three quarters of my health, have to run up the stairs, and just in a frenzy try to heal up before I die to the dogs. So we'll go left, see what happens. Maybe I need to keep my shield up. Now, if I keep my shield up, I'll bounce the dog, but that animation will take too long. Come on. You can do it. Jump. No, nope, no jump. Die. Make use of that mechanic. So if you hit an enemy in the in when they're doing something, so rolling, running, blocking, attacking, um, or when they bounce off your shield, that's not what I tried to do. Yeah, or when they bounce off your shield, you actually get a little bit of bonus damage. So you'll notice sometimes when these guys oh, come on, one parry, one kill. Yeah, you'll notice sometimes when these guys bounce off my shield with their attack. Um, I get them in one hit, and other times it only does like 140 damage. And that's why. There's a little mechanic. If you, you hit them in certain windows, uh, it boosts the damage for you. I don't want to rush in there. Yikes. Oh, he parried me, but was too far away and did not kill me. You. Got you. And you. Top off. Yeah, there, there's, timing is, is definitely key. There's that little window when they bounce off your shield. Or, uh, like I said, counterattacks. You, you could just um, hit them as they hit you. Let's go left, see what happens. Yeah, that's what we wanted. There we go. And we need to get up here. Get him to do that. Uh, yeah, Joriel Tribal would be a lot of fun. That card is insane. Okay, guys. So, that's that's pretty well time for the stream. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, it was a good time. It was a really great first stream. We actually got up as high as about seven viewers, and I was really only hoping to get two or three. That, that was my goal. If I got two or three, very, very happy. So, 
I would say very successful. I had a, had a real good time. Appreciate y'all coming out. Uh, we'll be back again Thursday, probably right around the same time. I might find something else to play. We'll see. Uh, Dark Souls is a lot of fun, but uh, you know, move on to something a little newer. Like I said, this was just sort of my my tester game, so I could get used to talking. Yeah, once again, thanks everyone for coming out. It was a great time, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you all uh, Thursday.